Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to do a cross-sectional regression in Strata and we'll go through all the relevant steps that are there which we can use to explain a simple regression, its diagnostics and its uh, predictions. So we'll start with this data. I will copy it and I will move it into Strata and we'll start the examples today. So first of all, I will open this play button and I will paste the data. First of all, you need to make sure that your first row is variable names so that I can press this so that the first row goes above and the rest are here. So if the data is numeric, it will be in black. If the data is uh, the character form, it will be in red. If by any chance your numeric data is in red form, it will be representing that table must be a typo in the data. It can be because of you added comma instead of full stop or O instead of zero or any other form like you might have written NA in the empty row. So you have to remove them and then import the data again. So I will close this file. So data has been added. We'll start with first of all, description, describe what kind of data I have. So DS, D. So it will list me the variable names, its full names and its types. So first two are strings and then, uh, then there are float, integer, long, byte, double. They are all numeric forms. So integer means a number, float is a number that goes into decimal places. Integer is also a, a number that goes in decimal places long similarly and then uh, there is a byte that data is only in decimal uh, is, is binary or, or 0 and 1 so it will become a byte data. So these are all numerical data types. So first of all we start with descriptive stats. So I will I will give you a, a command that has uh, that has more detail in it. So what I'll do is tab stat. Now I will write variable names. EPS my dependent variable. FMD, MEC, size. These are my dependent variables. You can add anyone if you want. Then I will write stats. I will write N for sample size. Mean, median, SD, uh, IQR, range. You want all of them. Then you also can add percentile 25, percentile uh, 75, and then min, max, skewness, kurtosis. So it will give you all the things that you have written. So this is a detailed descriptive stats. So in, in my previous videos, I have given discussions of how to interpret uh, these values. Most of them are already discussed. But in this table, you have all the variables that you need. Then next is how you can do the uh, normality test. For that, you can just select copy the variable names and do the SK test. It will do the normality test that all the variables are not normal. So you can also confirm it using histogram of dependent variable and, and norm graph. So when you plot it, it will tell you that uh, it looks like normal, but it has very long tails. Okay. Similarly, you can check for other variables. Okay. Then similarly, you can do uh, other type of normality tests like s -Wilk and variable names. It also saying not normal. Then s Francia, Sphero Wilk and Sphero. Francia. All of them are saying not normal. So this way you can check for normality. Now we go towards, uh, we have also studied this in the histogram. You can also make the box plot. So box for EPS. Uh, box plot EPS. So I will have a look what the command it has. It is, its command is graph box so graph box yes so you can check for that it has outliers so the, the upper limit are very narrow and these are its outliers so there are outliers in the data 
now we'll go towards uh, correlations we can do for eps fm d mec size you can have a correlation chart similarly you can make a graph out of it so graph matrix eps fm d mec size so it will make you a scatter plot matrix so you can assess the nature of the variables and if you have a graph you can just copy it from here and then paste it in your word file now we start with first of the uh, first with regression so reg eps fmd fmd mec size so all the variables are significant and f test is significant r square is uh, 1.6% so this is my regression analysis table so we'll start with diagnostic test so the command is lmcol so linear multiple collinearity eps fmd mec size you have you might have to install it so the command is ssc install lmc well if you if you enter it and if you have internet connected you can install it but i have already installed it so when you press this it will do a detailed multi diagnostic test and it might take some time if you have long big data or many variables so these are the results so first of the indicator of uh, multi is that you will notice that your variables are insignificant but your r squares are very high so this table is first of all showing you several r types of r square one two three four five six so six and seven eight eight types of r squares and if all of them are very high f test is significant but the variables are insignificant this is an indicator that there is multicollinearity but the r squares are low f test is significant and variables are significant this is means that there is no apparent hint of multicollinearity a very extreme form of multicollinearity but and a weak form of multicollinearity might still exist for that we'll start with correlation matrix we have already seen it so correlation matrix if the correlation between independent variables are nearing 0.9 and above then there is a hint of multicollinearity but it's very low then if the vif is crossing 2 for cross section and and for time series crossing 10 there is a multi it is nearing 1 if partial r scales are very high it is saying that the, the, there is multi collinearity if vifs are very low lower than 0.1 then there is multi community if c index is crossing 20 then it is showing multi community so they are not uh, explaining any symptoms of multi community then some uh, extreme forms like farer and global test it's not uh, null hypothesis no multi community so at at 10 percent it is saying that um, it is there is multi but at five percent there is no multi collinearity then other forms of variable this is overall so it is saying at 10 percent overall there is a slight hint of multi community but in individual variables you will see that it is insignificant there is no multi collinearity then you can also look for uh, pairwise multi collinearity so it is saying that it is a t value so you know if it is bigger than 1.96 it is significant so it is saying there is a hint of multi community between fmd and size but uh, for others there is no multi community then there are other forms like uh, matrix determinant independent variable squared matrix determinant so it's uh, alt alternative is no multi or if it is near one no multi so it is already nearing one and TLR square, if it is very low and it will say no multi community, so it is nearing to zero. Then Q, Q range multi community test, if it is nearing zero, there is no multi. All of them are, if you round them up, it is zero. So uh, there is very slight hint of multi community, but it, it can be ignored because the majority tests are saying there is no multi community. So we go towards again the regression analysis this one then now we'll do the diagnostic test so first command is estat estimation statistics head test so there's only t one t so we'll start with from the buttons 
uh, yes so you have to run the regression again so so that you can do the is that at test so it is saying that there is heteroelasticity this is the one of the major problem that a cross section regression might face so one of few of the reason that can be you can include the cross section identifiers that might help in in controlling heteroelasticity or your dependent variable might be not normal and there are too many outliers that we have seen so you have to either remove the outliers or use appropriate distribution then we can use is that movie test this checks for any omitted high power variables like square forms or cube forms so it is insignificant there is no need for there is no need for square variables so model is not misspecified now we can go towards other form of tests so we'll start from here in the menu regression so first of all we'll start with leverage so this graph uh, you can make it a this is the main plot you can add titles here you can uh, you can also make it in black and white i usually use the stata general format so it is black and white so this is leverage versus normalized residuals so this observation and these two observations are likely to be uh, outlier so it is hinting that they these and these so you can find them and then remove them remove them so that you can uh, make the data less non normal so remove the outliers from them so what you can do now you can check for more details like you can come here and then the residual versus fitted plot so if this line is horizontal then there is no heteroscedasticity but there are few outliers identified by this graph so these outliers might be playing a role in in explaining the residuals now if you want to find where are these residuals how you can do it you have to predict residuals so predict resid resid so this way you have a data set now you in the graph page up you notice that the outliers are above 500 or uh, there are some like in 400 range so what you will do is you will go in the data and look at the residuals and locate the residual which is like this minus 300 this is outlier and there will be more you can just explore this way or or you can what you can do is you can just histogram resid it will tell you that there are outliers here so you can just find them and then uh, remove them from the data then other graphs are will go towards plots regression diagnostics now since we have checked the uh, heteroscedasticity and outliers we go for other tests so in, in this table you can get other tables like uh, residual versus uh, predictor plot and fitted plots so we have already checked this one now with predictor You select variables one by one, so you can check uh, which variable is causing the hetero. So it is horizontal, but there are four outliers. Similarly, you can R V P plot and then check the other variable that is M E C, and then you can see this stay similarly horizontal but outlier. So this is hinting us that the hetero test. which is saying that there is heteroscedasticity mainly because of outliers there is no pattern in terms of variables now we can go towards and we can calculate some some more thing like this is df beta so df beta when you press it it will calculate df beta for all variables this this is a very important test it can tell you the the value importance of each independent variable value in the calculation so what does it do it is it uh, if you go in the data and if you have a look so this is df beta value for let's say which the value which is big enough so let's say this value is big as compared to the other ones so uh, the first variable the coefficient of first variable and the coefficient of the variable when this row is not added in the data 
are subtracted and this is its answer so if it is big it means this row has a this variable this value has a strong influence on the calculation of the slope of the data so this observation is playing a role so the, this is the meaning of tf beta so you can check uh, if the uh, you can compare it with the outliers if they they are playing a role in creating the outlier or not so this is the way you can use the df beta value so if i find some outlier number let's say residuals which, which are very big and uh, let's say this so it has high df betas so they are causing uh, the, the change in the results so this way you can check for that now last thing that that most of the users most of the regression analysis do not report but it can be very good for analysis if you have many variables that is you can go for measure of effect size so when you do this it will give you partial r squares that how much this variable has explained how much this variable has explained and how much this variable has explained so this way you can do the partial r squares which is known as eta squared in this uh, this data so this was the description of doing regression in cross section in stata so do do subscribe and do do study the description of the video for that if there are new changes or new links that are generated uh, in the future thank you